What's going on guys? I'm back. Took a little vacation, took a little detour and pit stop to New York, and I could not miss the opportunity to check out the NBA store. So while I was out there, I had to check it out and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So if you've never been in there, kind of just gives you an idea of if you actually walked in there, what you would see. Honestly, I felt like a kid at the candy store. Like, there's so many NBA jerseys, NBA gear, and then sports memorabilia. I had to take a step back and kind of just look at what I was holding. Was like, do I really need this? So that was a tough thing. So if you go to the NBA store, it's hard not to leave with like a bunch of stuff. But before we get started, if you guys find this adventure entertaining, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos or their sales or new releases, you don't miss out and the NBA jerseys are starting to roll out. So, whew, pretty excited about that. But let's go ahead and check this out. Look at this, we got the NBA store. Holy crap. Oh, excited. Whoa. She's not that excited, Dragon. but I am. It was getting a little crowded downstairs, so I decided to go up to the second floor to go check out the Mitchell and Ness and Nike jerseys. As you can see here, they have a bunch of New York jerseys. I mean, of course, we're in the NBA store in New York, so. It makes sense. In the Mitchell and Ness section, there is a blend of authentics and swingmans, and they had even college jerseys at Jordan, which was really dope. Now we're gonna check out my favorite jersey that I've seen in the store. It was a LeBron James Swingman jersey with his signature embroidered onto the jersey. I've seen it at Lids, but not a LeBron James one. It was super dope. What you doing here, KD?
I was super surprised to see a bunch of Anthony Davis City Edition jerseys still available in the store. But now that I think about it, I think he was the only one who still had City Edition jerseys still in stock. And a really cool feature that you could do at the NBA store is actually customize your own swingman jersey. So you just go ahead and pick the team, pick a name, and they'll customize it downstairs at the lower level. I was going to do a Pat Beverly jersey, but I ended up not doing it. And what's really dope right behind the cashiers on the first floor, it's right by the elevators, but it's basically a mural of the different eras of basketball. So man, just seeing LeBron, Kobe, Jordan, Magic Bird, it was a dope sight to see. Now we're gonna go ahead and go down to the basement level of the NBA store. So technically it has three levels to it. So down on this bottom level, there was a lot of kids jerseys as well as WNBA players as well. And on the back half of the basement level is a bunch of like NBA gear and just like accessories and things like that. To my left, this is where they customize the Swingman jerseys. I just didn't want to point my camera at them. So, you know, try to be respectful. But you can see here, there's a little counter and there's a ton of sports memorabilia, which was really dope to see. And what was really dope was you could see like the shoe size players. So that one's Shaq, that one's Westbrook. This one is Yao Ming, D Brown, like gigantic shoes. Steph Curry, you got Dominic Wilkins, Kobe at 14, and then you got D Wade at size 15. And that's pretty much the NBA store in New York. So after everything, walking through everything, I had to put some stuff back. I was like, Michael, hold on, I didn't need it. I'll wait till the, like the City Edition jerseys come out because there wasn't too many City Edition jerseys. I mean, they had Anthony Davis, but I think that was pretty much it. A lot of the Mitchell and Ness, like I've already like decided not to get them, just un unless it was a player that I really wanted. So I walked out with a bunch of hats, um, some t-shirts and stuff like that. So didn't go too crazy on spending on jerseys. I'm like, I have really had to like take a step back and say, nope, 
we're waiting for these new ones to drop. And that's pretty much the video, guys. So if you're ever in the New York area, I highly do suggest checking out the NBA store. It's just really cool to see. You get three levels, seeing all the signatures and autographs and stuff, and like the shoes were actually pretty cool. But you know, it's a nice vibe in that store. So hey, thanks again for watching, guys, and on to the next video.